tend to when I find something that I that I can't play or that's awkward to play or that I'm having trouble remembering, I tend to turn it into an exercise. So if it's a, a concept, or yeah, let's say let's yeah. say I wanted to play this, uh, and I was having trouble remembering that. So E half diminished, A dominant seven flat nine thirteen. Yeah. So it could be two five in D minor or whatever. Anyway. Um, so I'll work this a little bit, and then maybe I'll go D to G, and C to F. Maybe I'll go in a cycle. Like you know, this kind of a thing where I'm just going back and forth, back and forth, until I feel like I got it under my fingers. Uh, Woody and You, which is yeah. a series yeah, of yeah. half diminished chords. Like, I'll just work it and plug it in until yeah. I can do it effectively. That's yeah. what I'm looking at. Yeah. Um, I tend to just play the tune and see what comes loose. In other words, if I if I were to take, once again, Stella by Starlight as an example, um, I'll just start playing. saying so if it's me doing it that's one thing if it's somebody that's just starting out the, the things I want to get them started with the first thing is playing in a tonal center so actually if I have somebody who's really just getting started with improvising I probably won't pick Stella by Starlight as a tune to work it's a on. difficult tune right? it has a lot of yeah, harmony lot I'll of pick changes. something that's got simple harmony I'll pick Blue Bassa or Autumn Leaves are two you know starter tunes because you can play both those tunes basically yeah. in one key or in two keys depending yeah. on you know what you which one you're doing. If I look at autumn leaves, so the first thing I'll say is okay, let's get the shell voicings. Let's pull up the music. One, let's look three, where seven. it is. Yeah. One seven three. One three seven. One seven. 